Hi everyone, I'm back for another video. I'm camping right now actually in the beautiful Durian Bay and um, the oceans on the other side. I've just sucked out of the way for the moment to um, escape the wind and get in the shade. Um, I'm going to be painting tomorrow um, in these woods. Um, I, as much as I would love to paint on the ocean, um, I just think everything will blow away. So I'm going to, I've, I found me a little spot and I'll be painting the variated fairy wren, which is um, a cute little bird that I have a little story about. Um, I'm, her, I'm sure you've all heard of the superb fairy wren, but um, I actually don't uh, it's a beautiful bird, but I, I don't have much as much passion as I do as the variated fairy wren. So, anyways, yeah, if you guys have time, follow me and come watch my third video. Thank you.
everyone. So after that painting, I was incredibly hot and sweaty. So um, I jumped in the ocean. It was really good. Um, I was really happy with the painting. I have it. This is how it came out. So the birds are actually a little bit smaller in real life. They're probably just only like a couple inches. Um, I did the, obviously this is the female, this is the male. I did the female on top of the male's head because I actually have seen them do that before and it's pretty comical. These two birds showed up one day and I was like, oh my God, what's tapping on the window? And I went to look and these tiny little birds and such amazing colors. I was like so fat because they're like right there. I could see, you know, and um, they were just so adorable and they would peck at the window and take out their frustrations on the, in the mirror. I'm guessing they saw themselves and was trying to fight it, fight it over a territory thing. I don't know, but it was pretty funny and they came every day for probably at least two months, I'm going to say. And I got to the point where I knew they were there before they even got there because of the sound that they made and they would announce their arrival to the window at like 8, 8.30 in the morning and I was like, oh, that's, that's them. So, <sighs> this camping trip was probably one of the, like, probably my favorite camping trip yet. I haven't been on a lot, maybe five, five or six camping trips in my lifetime. It was just amazing. Um, you know, we did the normal camping things, you know, just hanging out with friends and family and eating and drinking and cooking s'mores and just, you know, totally chill. But I think, I think, um, I got to explore a lot and just the fact that I still kept doing the paintings was really great for me because that was a challenge to go camping and not wake up and just do nothing like everyone else and you know I I still got ready and I was like no I'm I want to stick to this and so I pa packed my bag and my coffee and found a spot and it was it just makes you feel good you know it makes me feel good and so yeah, um, but I think the highlight for me was those sea lions and, or seals, I'm not sure what they are. I've never seen one before, but I heard that they were out there in the water and I'm scared of the water. So it was really hard. Like, uh, I guess the excitement for me to see the sea lions was more was more powerful than the fear because um, I went out, I did it. It was scary, but I I don't I, I don't know how to describe the feeling seeing them um, in the water right next to you. It's just I guess you have to see it for yourself, but it was so amazing and. I took a big risk bringing my camera footage out there with me, but it was so worth it to get the video. And I'm still blown away by what it was like out there. I'm really curious what your favorite camping destination is. Um, I think we all have different reasons to why, what we love about camping or whatever, but yeah, what's your favorite camping destination? And let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching.